Hello and welcome to another DaddyJamesFilms.webs.com video tutorial. Um, first, before I start this tutorial, I wanted to uh, uh, say I'm sorry. I haven't made no videos in a while, but I've been working a lot here lately at my jobs. And uh, I haven't really had no time here lately, and I'm repairing a lot of computers and stuff. Uh, so I really hadn't, you know, been able to make some time. Not only that, I'm kind of running out of ideals and stuff. Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to talk a little bit about memory and stuff. Also, I want to talk about trollers, trollers as well. Uh, what are trollers? Trollers are people that, you know, get on YouTube, create fake accounts, go on and leave, uh, leave um, dumb, dumb comments on other people's channels, videos. Uh, might rate your video like one star, although now they got the thumbs up, thumbs down. You know, they might do the thumbs down ratings and stuff like that. You know, just trying to be, you know, a-holes on uh, YouTube. Well, normally I just ignore them or block them or I might say something back and then block them and, you know, be done with it. Although this one guy I talked to that I had a disagreement with is, um, I don't really know how to pronounce his name, but, you know, there's his, uh, there's his, uh, channel name. And, um, I made a comment to somebody else, uh, talking about, uh, you know, uh, how much RAM, uh, is in what is the least amount of RAM that's in a 64 bit computer, and I told him it has at least four gigs or more. So, anyhow, uh, I was gonna do this video on uh, RAM memory. Although, you might see right here, I went back and forth with this guy for a while. You know, I normally don't do that, but hey, I was kind of bored anyway, so I thought I'd go ahead and do it. Uh, but, anyhow, let's go ahead and get to this video. Um, okay, now, um for the physical memory limits for Windows 7, now these are the limits, not the uh, not the least amount, but the limits. Okay, and for Windows, uh, I'm gonna do them for Windows 7, Vista, XP, uh, even Windows 2000. Okay, now for Windows 7, the limits for Windows 7. Uh, again, this also depends on the type of computer you have too, but uh, for you know the limits on the operating system itself is as follows. For Windows 7 Ultimate, it is for a 32-bit uh, version of Windows, uh, is up to four gigabytes. The limits for 64-bit on Windows 7 Ultimate is 192 gigabytes. And the same thing for Windows 7 Enterprise and Windows 7 Professional, uh, Windows 7 Home Premium. Uh, the limits on that are the same uh, for 32-bit and only 16 gigabytes for uh, uh, 64 bit uh, home basics uh, the for 32 bits uh, is 4 gigabytes and uh, for 64 bit is only 8 gigabytes and then Windows 7 starter which is normally on those little tiny netbooks and stuff that you see out today and uh, for 32 bit Windows is 2 gigabytes I didn't think they had 64 bit for that but uh, it's 2 gigabytes Okay, now, let's see, I ain't gonna go over the server stuff. Now down to uh, Windows Vista. Uh, for 32-bit versions, uh, for Ultimate is four gigabytes. 64-bit uh, is 128 gigabytes. Now, Enterprise and Business is the same. Uh, home Premium is four gigabytes, 16 for 64 bits. Uh, basic is four for 32 and eight for 64. And then uh, Vista Starter, which is for those little net, netbooks, is one gigabyte. Now, for Windows XP, the limits on this one is four gigabytes and 128 gigabytes for 64 bits. And uh, for the Starter Edition, uh, again, that's for you know those little netbooks. It would be for 512 megabytes. And then down here on uh, Windows 2000, it's four gigabytes for a 32-bit version. So anyhow, those are the limits. Okay, now for the minimum system requirements are as follows. For uh, Windows 7 system require requirements, you need at least one gigabyte of RAM for a 32-bit uh, version of Windows 7 or two gigabytes of RAM for 64-bit versions. Okay, and for... Oh, by the way, with Windows 7, I heard you can actually put, uh, put Windows 7 on... A system with only 512 megabytes of memory um, and I heard it worked fine on that so uh, I guess you can do that 
Uh, now for Windows Vista, uh, for Home Basic, uh, it says here 512 megabytes of system memory. I really don't recommend that. Um, you need to have at least one gigabyte or more, preferably more. And uh, Premium Business and Ultimate, uh, you need uh, at least one gigabyte of system memory. Um, so those are basically the minimum required requirements of memory for Vista and uh, uh, Windows 7. Now for XP, the minimum requirements for XP is at least 64 megabytes of RAM. Although it's not recommended to put that because it would be really, really slow. Um, 128 megabytes is recommended for it to run okay. Although it will still be a little slow. Um, you know, 256 megabytes will run okay. Uh, 512 will run really good. Uh, if you have a Windows XP, you want to at least have 512, in my opinion. Uh, if you want it to run really good, have at least uh, one gigabyte in or one really good uh, if you have that in your uh, XP computer. Also, uh, if you want to put like one gigabyte around, make sure the computer will hold uh, that much uh, memory. Because uh, for, you know, for a lot of XP machines, they're too old to hold one gigabyte. Um, just uh, make sure if you have trouble making sure I'm gonna show you a website to go to and you know it doesn't matter if you have XP Vista Windows 7 whatever your operating system is you can go here to find out what kind of memory you got on your computer and how much you can upgrade to and uh, that and that website is called uh, crucial.com you can go to www.crucial.com and um, It'll bring you to this page, or you can just uh, type in "crucial scan" on your search uh, search engine, and it, uh, it'll direct you to. It'll give you a link to this site here. Once you go here, you want to check this, and then you want to download it. You can download it wherever you want to. You can download it to your desktop, um, or you know wherever, and then just click on it and install it. Once you've installed it, uh, it'll run a scan on your computer, and uh, this page right here will pop up. Now, depending on your computer, you might have like several uh, suggestions on here. Uh, it only gave me one suggestion because this is the mount that the, this computer will hold. I'm on my laptop. It's a little bit of an old laptop, but like a couple years old. Uh, but anyhow, this laptop right now has a total of three gigabytes of memory. I have two gigabytes in one slot and one in the other. And it's saying right here, you can upgrade me, up, uh, upgrade me to one gigabyte of memory. And... Um, I can replace my one gigabyte with the two gigabyte and then it gives me a price you know how much they would charge of course it, you don't have to buy from them to get this information uh, if you go down a little bit it'll tell you what type of memory that's in your computer uh, like right here each memory slot can hold a DDR2 PC2 6400 and you know it, it pretty much gives the information of your uh, of your memory that you have in here and over here is some more information about it too but anyhow, you want to find out what kind of uh, memory you got in your computer and how to upgrade, this is how you do it. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.